School is in session at Richard and Rhonda Fontenot's Farm in Evangeline Parish. The classroom for these middle school students is the tractor shed. And while Rhonda is a school teacher, on this day, it's Richard leading the lecture on some of the crops he grows, rice and soybeans. And if you look at the roots on a soybean, soybean's a legume. If you look at the roots, they're kind of, we call them more of a taproot, main kind of root system, versus what we have in rice is more of a grass or a fibrous root system. And can y'all see the difference? Not only can they see the difference, but they could smell it too when Richard introduces them to Louisiana grown aromatic jasmine rice. It smells like, it, like corn chips. Like corn chips? These students from Evangeline Reimagine Academy are getting used to these kinds of hands-on and nose-on experiences. That's because Evangeline Reimagine Academy is a different kind of middle school. We want kids to see and experience things that they have never experienced before. Liz Shatlin is the Evangeline Parish Reimagine Grant Coordinator. After 18 years of teaching middle school, she took on the task of reimagining the middle school experience for students who traditionally missed school or had academic challenges. We know we need to teach them how to read and write and do math, right? They absolutely need that, but we, we're leaving out such an important part of their education so many opportunities to, to teach them uh, about life. So these kids are gonna know what it's like in middle school to run a small business. Students at Evangeline Reimagine Academy are placed into learning zones, one of which is agriculture. Giving them those hands-on experiences is so very important because it really makes the learning real for them. Uh, it, it's not, no longer um, a concept uh, now it becomes a, a, a reality. They get to put in practice those things that they have read about, those things that they've heard about, those things that they have learned from their teachers. I had one particular kid, he, he told me and shared with me that he has a, a grandfather that's a farmer. And so he's really invested and he talks about, oh, maybe that's not how you do that or this is how you do that. So I appreciate that they have that, uh, those opportunities that um, they normally wouldn't have in a traditional school setting. Back at the Fontenot's farm, Richard looks out on these middle schoolers thinking about how this reimagined learning could shape their futures. They might be our NRCS staff one day. They might work with FSA. They might work with the Ag Center. They might work through Extension, Youth Development. Anytime we can excite kids about agriculture at any level in any form, it could be farm to table type stuff that, that they start a, a truck farm on the weekends and do. So the, the, the opportunity is endless, and if we can get these kids excited that aren't traditionally exposed to agriculture and get them into our family, we're just a stronger family at the end. The Evangeline Reimagine Academy is really, really innovative. If you would like to learn more about the school, visit our website at twilighttv.org or look for the link under this story on YouTube. And Kristen, it was really cool going there because this is a chance for folks to reimagine a school from the ground up. And like in the hallways, they have little couches to try and make it more homey, a more relaxed environment. Uh, some of the other zones they have, learning zones they have, focus on communication. So I'm gonna go back over there and talk to them a little bit about that. But having agriculture as one of those zones that you can make the focus of your middle school education, I think that's really, really neat and really sets these kids uh, ahead to, to choose what career they want to go into. Do you think your kids, if you had the opportunity to send them to a school like this, would they enjoy so, it? So I think Logan would absolutely love it. He'd be all about it. I think Luke would try to take the school over. <laughs> and if, because if you give him a little bit of leeway, suddenly, I don't care what zone you put him in, it's going to be about bugs and snakes. Bugs and snakes the whole way. Part so, of agriculture. Yeah, it is. It is.